Cool, so price. Of course, people be uh, excited and they want to know how much it's going to cost you because there's a lot of new features there. Right, so you got some new MOSFETs uh, in, in, the, in the controller, so they actually cost a bit more. You got more aluminium in a in the new heat sink design thing so you actually pay a bit more there's a lot of RNG behind it so you actually pay expect to pay something out between 150 and 200 dollars more than you're currently paying for BBSO2 fair enough it's a amazing technology they, they put a lot of research on, on this product and it's gonna make a big, another big revolution in the e-bike industry uh, right, so the when's gonna be available? Um, so Bafeng is actually manufacturing this product at this second in the factory in China. So they finished the prototype not long ago, and now they um, manufacturing thousands and thousands of units to for all the, you know, like all the markets, like the Chinese market, the U.S. market, the European market, Australia, South Africa, like all over the place. Right, so the date they're actually giving is uh, expect to find this uh, uh, new thousand watts version around the first of November. Give or take one or two weeks because you know, like the shipping and they might have some issues delivering this or some problems you know, during production in factory. Well, first of November, that's the date they've been giving uh, from Bafeng and talking to them so they actually um mentioned to me that the very first versions uh the very first units they, they uh, will be shipped with the c961 display which is the uh same display that you, you currently find with the bbso2 which is really nice one it's my favorite that's the one that i have in my bike it's just beautiful big digits it's just amazing i really like that i'm really happy with that but they have a new display under development uh which we'll be talking in the next slide uh, right 